Seasons movie is Happiest Season, streaming on Hulu this coming Wednesday. Michael J. Fox's book is called No Time Like the Future, An Optimist Considers Mortality. It's out now. Allison, when did you shoot Happiest Season? Pre-COVID? We shot it. Yes, like barely pre-COVID, the end of January through the end of February. So we finished it just in the nick of time, maybe a week before the shutdown. Wow. So you've had a holiday movie on deck this whole time? <laughs> this whole year I've yeah. just known all along. Yes. Just get ready, get ready to be cheered up, everyone. Right. Did you? I heard you and Dave wrote a screenplay during quarantine. Yes, we wrote a romantic comedy. I finally got him over into loving the genre, which I've loved yeah. for my whole life. And will it star the two of you? I will star in it and Dave will direct it. Oh, so great. it'll be interesting finding the leading man. Yeah, exactly. I, I would like <laughs> to shoot that process. Um, <laughs> Michael, uh, Nora D uh, said, I'm so amazed that your foundation has been around for 20 years and funded more than $1 billion towards Parkinson's research. Is there one specific moment of working on the Michael J. Fox Foundation that has meant the most for you? Um, well, the, the moment's gonna mean the most is when we get the cure and that, that'll happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm allowing that'll be the great moment. But uh, I think these, every year we have an event, we didn't have it this year because of the the pandemic, but uh, we have an event. We have a thousand people that support the foundation, and I just to go up there every year and thank them. And I look at it and see all those people and all those people that are touched by Parkinson's and those that aren't, the families, the patients, the doctors, the scientists, the researchers, the pe people who fund us. And I just think, wow, we're going to get this done. It's not often you get a chance to do that much people power in one place. How? Give us an update. How are are you optimistic about a? about finding something soon or where where is that process would you say i'm, I'm beyond optimistic i'm confident um we, we, we're pursuing it's kind of like building a pyramid you, you, you have to narrow it down to one rock at the top and you have to go through a lot of rocks a lot of bricks to get there but uh we we're knocking them off one by one we're finding new ways to image uh, the brain we're finding new ways to do we're identifying new genes new, new uh proteins that interact with the brain and as to buckle and fold and create a Parkinsonian brain. Wow. Uh, so we're, we're, we're all kinds of answers. Wow. Finding biomarkers, trying to find biomarkers so we can identify the disease before the symptoms are evident. It's, it's all great stuff. It's really exciting. Wow. Allison, when you you got the um you got the news that Glow wasn't coming back. We all got the news that Glow wasn't coming back during this whole uh mess of the quarantine and everything. Did they clue you in long before they clued the the world in uh, or did you find out when we all found out or how did that go well, they clued us in about two days before I, so at least I, I i feel like i heard I, we all in the cast heard friday night and then the news broke on monday which was good because we sort of had the weekend to, process to connect it. as a cast yeah we all hopped on a zoom together and but it did feel different, I will say. There was like, it's one thing to kind of get a phone call and think, oh, this is news, and then to have the world react to it, I feel like it made it more real. Yeah, of course. Did you see it coming? Because I, I don't think a lot of people did. I, I, I think that we felt like this is gonna wrap up if it ends. Well, it, it you know, I, I did a little bit. Uh, the thing that was strange is that we had started shooting our first two episodes. So talk about going right up into the quarantine. I finished Happiest Season a little bit early, went straight to the glow set, and we shot the first two episodes of the fourth season. So for a long time, I think we really felt confident, even, you know, for the first few months of the pandemic and the shutdown, confident that it would come back because we were like, they've already spent this money. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. But then because of the physicality of the show, it just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And so as we got news of it pushing, I started to think, oh, uh oh, it might push indefinitely. Wow. Maybe a movie to wrap it up? Well, that's what Mark Marin has been pitching online. And some of the fans have been rallying behind that. And I think it's a great idea. I love, thank you guys for virtually cheering. I, I would love <laughs> to do it. I don't know what the likelihood is. I, we've been campaigning for a community movie for six years, and that hasn't happened. Yeah, right, so. right. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Um, before we go, Michael, what's uh, what's one thing you want people to get from the book? That that uh, if you're grateful, you can always sustain optimism. You look around and see what you're grateful for. Whatever your problems are, whatever your issues are, you find one thing to be grateful for. It will sustain you to another day, and you'll you can, you can look forward to, to what's next. All right. Well said. The book is called No Time Like the Future, An Optimist Considers Mortality. Uh, Allison's movie is called Happiest Season. It's streaming on Hulu this coming Wednesday. Thanks for the hangout, you guys. Great to see you both. For more, click around BravoTV.com, everybody. That's fun.